hello everybody welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to discuss about the most important topic for all the new joiners and most discussed topic when you are about to get onboarded that is primers assessment so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> So the first question arises in everyone's mind that what is primers? Why are they? For answering that, I would like to say that whenever you get your onboarding mail, within two days, you are going to get a mailer from the Accenture team, the LKM team, which is responsible for your training and assessments. So they are going to send you a mail regarding your primer modules. There will be modules like study modules only and uh, you need to finish that in three weeks duration because uh, they have their completion graph in their portal and you need to follow that completion journey so three weeks is the max to max time you can take to complete the primers uh, there is no harm if you don't able to complete it within the three weeks but it suggests you path so i also suggest you you should complete your journey within the three weeks only what is the duration of uh, getting primers assessment mails? So whenever you get onboarded with Accenture, you have joined your base location, you are present there. And after that, within 10 days, you are going to get mail about your primers assessment. They will schedule your primers assessment and the test pattern will be like, uh, you will get 20 questions. One question carries one mark. And to clear that assessment, you need 60% average. So 60% average meaning you need to score 12 or 12 above to clear that assessment. If you fail to clear the primers you need to score more in your stream training then but that is very difficult thing because primers is all about basics so you should cover all that in one go only so i'm going to discuss about the syllabus next so primer modules cover six major topics mainly they are six max to max if they are making any changes during your onboarding there may be eight so be prepared for that also most of the modules we have learned in our college time like for me they were java rdbms agile devops and logical all these modules were from basic level as previously discussed you need 12 marks to clear the assessment so discussing more about topics this is the screenshot i have shared from my own journey i have completed all the modules within the given time i'm going to share my completion journey also so the topics were logical development software engineering java programming rdbms agile fundamentals and introduction to devops and tools so talking about my personal experience there was huge and difficult level of coding in java programming rdbms was a bit easy because the queries they were asking us to run we can run it very easily uh, there were very few errors you don't need to run your code again and again to find out what's going wrong but personally i struggled in java programming because there were codes which were uh, from exception polymorphism constructors inheritance so all these codes were really huge like i used to write 100 100 lines of code sitting for hours and used to complete those programs therefore you can see my path all courses were completed for me and in agile you won't find any kind of codes but yeah there were mostly uh, questions of extreme programming so what is extreme programming actually they will give you a scenario based question and from that scenario only you need to find a solution if they are giving you scenario about agile solutions of xyz company and these these problems are getting into this company how will you find solution through extreme programming so you have to just prepare a whole report on word document download that word document and just upload in agile fundamentals there is nothing like grading or something in agile fundamentals you can submit anything whichever report you can make from your mind only you're gonna get full marks because nobody is there sitting in the background and checking your data it's all based on algorithm and bot based only so you are gonna get full marks for agile so just keep your score high during solving mcqs because they count your xps also like playing a game when we get leveled up there are some xp points which we get after finishing that level that is the same thing about these modules whenever you solve any mcq or run a code with simplicity or in one go you are gonna get full points but you are missing something and failed to attempt and failed to score good marks in first attempt only you are gonna get reduction in xp the more number of attempts the less number of xp that is the ratio goes hand in hand so you just need to focus that you are scoring the passing marks in every attempt uh, talking about java programming uh, you should connect to your seniors whosoever senior is from your college and is in accenture right now they would have 
get the good amount of practice questions from java programming or rdbms so they must have anything in their drive so you should ask them about that mcqs are very easy if you are watching your videos completely with all your attention you are gonna get good marks in mcqs because uh, everything which was asked in the modules those are all from the videos only so you just need to watch those video very minutely and very carefully so this is my performance journey as you can see my course is 100 percent completed like you can see here regular hands-on was 64 those were carrying 10 xp like uh, you can call them 10 marks and high value hands-on was six and those were carrying 20 xp so that's my completion record uh the recommended completion was straight for three weeks and i have completed everything in three weeks but there was one program which was really torturing me which was very difficult and i was unable to solve it that's why it took me one whole week to solve that problem and later in the mid of fourth week i was able to solve that problem i was struggling with it after onboarding also but before primer success i have completed my all modules because it's the requirement if you want 10k incentive so what is 10k incentive uh, let's discuss about it if you are scoring good marks in your primers assessment in one attempt only so you need to score like 75 percent above marks in your primers maybe 15 or 16 marks for sure from 20 and later you are gonna you're gonna get the 10k bonus with your joining salary um, like for first month you are gonna get the salary of the month joining bonus and if you are clearing the primers assessment in one go then 10k incentive also it's a bonus or you can say a rewarding criteria which accenture provides because you have worked so hard you have completed your 100 percent of journey you have studied so hard so they just reward you with the 10k bonus so what after primers primers are ended now what so you will get allotted with your personalized team training you need to complete that for the required months if your trainer asks you to complete it in two months you're gonna get a two months timing if it's for six months you should complete it within those six months how to prepare for primers most important question because we practice a lot we are watching videos we are doing everything which is required but what is the right way to prepare for prime i have seen during my batches that many people were there who haven't even started for primers like their video percentage was zero and they were not eager to get that 10k incentive because they were not interested in learning more from that so if you are interested in getting those 10k getting that 10k amount for that you should prepare hard so there is three step process you can prepare well accordingly so you need to go through previous year question papers as i suggest in every video that from the day you get onboarded or you get onboarding mail you should be connected with your seniors they have very much knowledge about this because they have all gone through this and nobody can ever tell you or teach you better than them because they are experienced they have gone through this journey whatever they have faced they can share those experiences with you so it's very important to stay in touch with them so for previous year questions you can ask them you should read the mcqs from modules only whatever mcqs you are solving try to solve by the by your own don't try to cheat from google or take help from google just go through videos take down notes and try to solve those mcqs on your own because that's going to help you during your primers assessment because mostly if you are taking down the notes you're gonna get the pointed description of the video and before the primer assessment you can just go through them and revise in one go so it's very important to take this thing seriously because uh, forget about incentive if you score less than 12 marks it's gonna cost you fortune there's nothing like they will throw you out of the company but you need to score more marks in your stream training and scoring good marks in stream training is not an easy task because you get all those streams which you were unaware of during your college journey so everything is really new for us and within 15 days only you get scheduled for steam training so in 15 days of journey and learning nobody is that much prepared to score good amount of marks therefore you need to focus on your primers first and make the good average percentage so that you can bag 10k bonus also and you can make your average better also try to get into previous questions because primers question get repeated from last two years there is a same syllabus for primers same module same course so primers questions get repeated so if you know your seniors from your college or anything nearby you should get 
in touch with them if they have anything they can help you with you should ask them for the help also all the best for your exam that's all for today's video thank you so much if you haven't subscribed my channel then please do that like share and subscribe see you until next time bye bye